Welcome to Susan Bird Artwork. I'm Sue Gilbert, your host, and this is Susan Bird. She's my muse, my mentor, and my guide. And she is a spirit in the spirit realm. So every time we do a video, we like to present something from the art world, our art world, other art worlds, and something that would engage and inspire you to create art yourself, whatever form your art may take. I, I really believe we're all artists. In today's video, I would like to explore the process of using textures to fill in shapes. The reason we do this is so that it will add more interest to a piece. And I'll show you some examples from history. So head over with me now and we'll go to my computer. As a kid, I always enjoyed coloring inside the lines. I thought they were there for a reason and I worked hard to keep my crayons inside the boundaries. On my computer, I add colors and textures the same way by simply filling in shapes. I can use textures, patterns, or specialized brushes to create my fills. Let's look at some examples of using pattern and design to fill in shapes. Here's a fairy tale illustration from 1910. Because this book was printed by an engraving process in which the image was etched, the artist was compelled to use lines to promote texture and definition rather than relying on color. You don't see much of this type of drawing anymore, but I just love it. I think it's absolutely stunning. Here's another more contemporary example of that process. Just look at that line work. And a few interesting textures from Art Nouveau advertising posters. In these line drawings, you'll notice that the textures are filled in very selectively. I think it's quite an effective technique. Here's an example from a puzzle app on my iPhone. As you can see, the artist has used quite a bit of pattern and soft design to add interest to his portrait. Today, we'll look at a flower I created for the purposes of this video. It's actually separated into 16 layered shapes. As you can see, each shape exists independent of the others. This gives me lots of options and the ability to make changes later. Whoops, let's ask that elf to leave. There. Now I'll add some pre-selected colors. This gives us a base to work on and we can always change them later. Now we're ready to fill in those shapes with a variety of textures, since flat colors can get fairly boring. This is one of my favorite aspects of design. Most often, I'll choose a pattern to give a shape some texture. Where do I find patterns? Here on my desktop, I created a library of copyright-free patterns I've collected from all over the internet. I selected six different ones for our flower and imported them into my workspace. Normally, most of them come in black and white. Here, I've pre-adjusted the colors for us. Now, let's take a look at what they look like. Remember I was telling you how I love coloring inside the lines? Well, here we go. We need to drag each pattern inside its shape. See this pattern? I'll drag it down to its petal. And voila! Now I'll tuck the others in. I think I'll add some dots to the back shape. Just for fun, I'll use a texture brush to add some interest to the interior, drawing over the inner circle and adjusting it. And there we are. Let's put our flower on a dramatic blue background, change the borders to yellow, and add a slight bit of texture to the blue. See what a subtle difference texture makes? And there we have our flower. 16 separate shapes, 7 textures, 1 texture brush, and a background that also has texture. you've enjoyed this little video and that it inspires you to give your own creativity an outlet. Whether it's trying something new or pushing your skills to a different level or just thinking about it, just thinking out of the box a little bit. Although this was about coloring in the lines, it did take some thinking out of the box to get there. 
we try to make the work that we do look easy. And the reason is because I really believe anyone can create this kind of thing, uh, each in their own way. We all have a different flavor. So thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me when you leave comments and your support and encouragement. It has been such a lovely journey and we hope to continue in the next video with something else. So thank you very much and have a lovely day. Bye for now.